This is an overview of the team member card by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the team member card widget by Unlimited Elements. The first thing you're going to want to do is jump into plugins, search for Unlimited Elements inside of your WordPress directory, click install now and activate the plugin. After you've done that, it will show up in your WordPress menu and you can navigate between the different types of categories to select the widget that you want to install inside of your Elementor website. Over here, I'm gonna jump into the team members category and we have all sorts of widgets over here. You can hover over them. If you wanna see a preview, you can click preview and that will show you the preview on our website to see a demo of how this looks and all the usage types that you can do with this specific widget. Looks awesome, let's close this and after you decided that you want it, you can just hover over it again and click install. So it's been installed on the website. Now we can jump into our Elementor page builder. I'm just gonna refresh it. So it will reload the widgets inside of the widgets pane. Inside of Elementor, inside of the widgets pane, I'm going to search for team member card. Here it is, I'm gonna drag it inside of the middle column over here just to see how it looks. And now we can start going over all the settings and start editing this. So actually the team member card is a display for showing team members and staff or employees and stuff like that. It has an image, a title, a subtitle, some text, social icons and a call to action button. And what's nice about it is that you can control the layout in any way that uh, you want and you can place any element inside of any place in the widget. So the widget is actually separated into three sections. The top part is the header, the middle part is the content, and the bottom part is the footer. So later on, I'll show you how you can move uh, all sorts of stuff between the different sections. So as we said, image, title, subtitle, text. And let's scroll down over here. We have our button, our button text. And inside of items, you can control the different types of icons. So for example, you can delete, you can rearrange them, you can add new items if you want. Let's just delete one to see how that looks. Looking good. And let's jump into style where all the magic happens. So over here, we have card radius. This is the radius for the whole card itself. So you can actually push that up if you want to make it more rounded. And you can also uh, do a background color if you want for your card for example, like this. And you can see it's not affecting everything. It's just affecting the top part because the bottom part is called the footer, which we can actually edit separately. So you can have as much control as you want to. So I'm just gonna change this, for example, to a gradient color. Let's select a bluish color over here. Looking good. Inside of image, we can control the image width, the image height, and uh, you can do all sorts of stuff, stuff with radius. For example, if you want only one corner not to be rounded, you can do that as well. And over here, we can add a border. So let's just add a solid border. I'm gonna give it a color of white so we can see it. And you can change the alignment if you want to. Jump into content. Over here, this is the alignment of the content itself. I'm not gonna touch this right now. I like it centered. Uh, but you can align it differently. You can change the padding if you want less or more padding on the sides or from the top and stuff like that. Inside of title, let's change the text to white. Inside of subtitle, let's change the text to white with some opacity. So I'm gonna push down the alpha channel. You can also change the spacing between each element. Each element has a spacing setting, sp spacing slider. And let's jump into text over here in text. I'm going to make that white looking good. For the icons, we have some uh, additional 
settings over here so we can make our icons bigger if we want to we can change the the border the background let's actually change the icon border color to white and let's make the icon background transparent so i'm gonna push down the alpha channel and the icon color i'm going to change to white looking good i think we can jump down to the footer part so for the footer part i'm just going to take off the color that we have right now so just take that off and you can see there's actually a lot of spacing up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump into the footer padding unlink this and for the top padding i'm going to change it to zero so you can see that makes the space less over here and i think my card is starting to look pretty good and i like the outcome let's see what we have in icons hover maybe we'll choose an icon hover effect so maybe we'll do pulse and this is for these buttons just to show that they're clickable looking awesome and that's about it i mean you can play around with this inside of content we also have a part that's called layout and this is the part that you can play around with if you want to hide different parts or move different parts in the different sections inside of the widget for example I can uh, move the subtitle to be inside of the header and that way it moved up here or I can decide if I want to hide something overall I can just click hide and it won't show at all inside of the layout so this is very flexible it will help you make the uh, exact type of layout that you want to achieve if you want to even hide a whole section for example the whole footer which contains only the button right now I'm just gonna turn that off and you can see that simplified our sort of team member card and we're all set to go i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video